Hi there, my name is Gardner. I'm a Linode developer advocate, and today we're gonna to talk about getting your own instance of guacamole set up on Linode. Now, if you don't know what Apache Guacamole is, it's a remote desktop gateway that's built entirely in HTML5, web standards that you know and love. And when we use Linode's one-click app to create our Guacamole instance, we're not only installing uh, the remote desktop gateway, but we're also installing a full XFCE desktop on a Linode. So let's go ahead and get this done. Before we get started though, I wanted you guys to know that you can hit that subscribe button. It really helps the show out. We have some really awesome stuff that's going up on the channel, so make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, let us know what you think. All right, the first step to get this set up is to create a Linode Cloud Manager account if you don't have one. Uh, you can use the link in the description to get some free credits to get started. Once you're logged into the Cloud Manager, go over here to the left and click on Marketplace. Now we're gonna scroll down until we see guacamole, which is right here. We're gonna click guacamole and then we're gonna scroll down here. Now in the guacamole options, we have to specify a few different things. The first thing that we wanna do is create a user account and a password for the XFCE desktop user that we will log in as. So let's go ahead and do that. This is going to be a pseudo a privileged account. So let's just say G Bryant, why not? And uh, the password that we're gonna use, that works for me. Now we're gonna create uh, with these next two fields, we'll wanna create a, uh, a user account that we log into the Guacamole web interface with. So let's call this uh, different username <laughs> and give it a different password. Now we'll scroll down again. We can skip this step and this one as well. Uh, if you have an SSH key that you would like to use to log in over SSH, go ahead and put that in here, but otherwise you don't need it. Uh, your Linode API token. Now, uh, in order to get an API token, we'll have to scroll up to the top, and we'll click on uh, our username, and we'll middle click on API tokens. That'll open up a new tab. Now, uh, you can see I have one here already. I've actually set up uh, a different uh, guacamole instance uh, because it takes a little while to provision. But uh, if you click here to create a personal access token, let's just say uh, personal access token demo. And then we'll, we'll select an expiry. Uh, you can choose whatever time frame works for you. I'm gonna do one month. This is like a one-time thing that you're gonna need. Uh, so one month is fine. And then we're, we're gonna choose read and write for domains. And that's the only privilege that we need here. Uh, now we'll hit create token. And this is the one and only time that you will see this one-time uh, password. You can copy this to your clipboard and then hit OK. Now we'll go back uh, over here and we'll scroll back down to where we were. And you can see uh, your Linode API token. We're gonna paste this right in here. That's what we need in order to set this up. Now, keep in mind that this is only necessary if you plan on having a domain name set up and you want your uh, one-click app to actually set it up during the provisioning process. So we'll paste in our API token there. We'll choose our subdomain that we wanna use. So this is gonna be guac. And then over here, we'll type in linodians.net. And we'll choose uh, demo at linodians.net. If you want the one-click app to set up a mail exchange or an SPF record for the domain, uh, you can select yes here. I, I don't need to do that. Let's scroll down. Uh, we're going to go to choose uh, a data center where we're gonna have our Linode live. Uh, I'm gonna choose Newark, New Jersey because I'm in the Northeast United States. You wanna choose a, a data center that's closest to you. So I'm gonna choose Newark, New Jersey. Uh, for the Linode plan, the documentation says that uh, this can run on any size Linode, and that is absolutely true. However, the more RAM and the more CPU power you have, the more smooth the uh, process will be. So I'm going to choose a 4 gigabyte Linode. Um, you can uh, choose an 8 gigabyte or even a dedicated 8 gigabyte uh, Linode. Any of these are going to be fine for you, uh, and you can always resize your Linode later. Now I'm gonna cho choose a label. Uh, this is fine for my purposes. And we're gonna choose a root password. Uh, this is the password you'll use uh, as you're logging in over SSH. And uh, backups, uh, private IP. Uh, I, I recommend backups if you're gonna use this in production. Uh, private IP is not necessary. Once you've selected everything and got everything uh, the way you'd like to have it, go ahead and click Create. 
Now, as I said, I've already done this. Uh, this is a, a process I already went through because setting this up does take a little while for the uh, for the automated process to, to finish. Uh, so in order, like a baking show, uh, I've got uh, one already prepared here. Now you can see, uh, I actually used the optional uh, set up of the domain records, and we have uh, guac.linodians.net set up uh, with this IP address. You can also find the IP address of the Linode that's running uh, by going to the Linode's section of your cloud manager, and underneath the uh, uh, IP address heading, you can find the Linode. So we can either copy that if you didn't set up a domain name, or you can use the domain name. So let's go ahead and open a new tab here and paste in our IP address. And there we go, you can see that uh, we have access to our Apache guacamole setup. Let's also go ahead and type in uh, guac.linodians.net. And uh, this is actually going to be HTTPS because we set up our domain name, connecting to guacamole. There we go. So we're all logged in here. And um, you can see that we have our first time start panel. Uh, we can choose an empty panel or we can use the default configuration. I'll just go ahead and use the default. Uh, and, and really this is a full-fledged Linux uh, instance in the cloud and uh, that's really awesome. You have full access to your whole machine. You can install applications. Uh, I mean this is a full Linux distribution. Now you can see XFCE comes, uh, doesn't come with a web browser. So we can actually open this up here, uh, our terminal, and we can type in uh, sudo apt install Firefox dash ESR. This is the extended release. And you'll wanna type in the password that you specified for the privileged uh, sudo user, that which was the first field that we filled out. And here we go, we're downloading Firefox ESR. And there we go, we have Firefox installed. Now, if we go here and go to internet, we can actually select Firefox and we can use Firefox within Firefox in case uh, you like old memes. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and type in, uh, I don't know, Wikipedia, why not? English, look at that. So we're using Firefox inside of Firefox, and I couldn't think of a cooler way to end the video. I just think this is really neat. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys being here on the Linode channel with us. Like I said, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you uh, like what we're doing here, because it really helps us out. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.